<clears throat> All right, well, let's rock and roll here with a, uh, another video. Um, running FSD 13.2.7. Um, made a video this morning, initial first impression. So we're going to kind of like test this out a little bit, right? We're running 13.2.7. Got this update last night. Um, we're going to head down to what's that? Sitting here in the King Supers parking lot, um, grocery store parking lot. We're going to head down the road to Shields. Um, so just kind of get an idea of, you know, starting from the the beginning here. So point A to point B type of deal. So we're just going to pop out here, head down the road um, into Shields. And let's see, maybe it'll park for us as well, right? Because that's kind of the whole point here. But we're going to go ahead and start this um, drive on 13.2.7. Um, and we're going to start from the beginning here. As we pull out of our spot here here at this grocery store King Supers here in Colorado um, brand new construction area too so this this just got built um, up here on the north end of town but see how we can navigate out of here again here's the idea not touch the no interventions at this point as we make our way out here. But I said this morning it was a good update or a good handle. Now we're driving down the middle of the road there. There we go. Um, you know, it seems smooth this morning. You know, first initial impressions of the, the update itself. A little bit of tra traffic on our left here. Probably see it coming down the road, so we're giving a little little wait time. Should be able to go after this car, and we're off. But we said a quick little trip down the road here. Let's see how this all handles. Hopefully, we can go from point A to point B. So getting on this highway, or kind of state highway here, very north into Colorado Springs. So this should be pulling into basically a, a lane for us to turn into, and there's good old potholes. Again, I don't know how I would ever notice potholes, but that's the one thing I'm wishing for when it comes to, you know, the advancement of FSD here as well. And that gets kind of annoying. But sometimes you got cars that kind of pop out around this area. So we'll see if that happens today. But hopefully it'll take us into the Shields parking lot. And finds us a parking spot. So we got about seven minutes, six minutes now get down there so it should be a quick video but just good first or good more first impressions of the 0.7 update 13.2.7 for fsd as well Ooh, a little bit of traffic down here nice road work ahead i think the lane is closing that's gonna be my guess so we're gonna slow it down so i guess the big thing is to know if there we go. To get over. That it wants to get over. Oh yeah, let's have some fun here. Knows that we need to get over. Who's gonna let us in? Perfect. So yeah, a little lane closure right here. Having to deal with. So did it perfectly. Found a spot to get in. See what it does up here. There's a spot up here on a, <clears throat> a, a turn that can get real backed up, or it had in the past. Um, so it needs to probably be in the right lane. So we'll see how busy it is up here and if it can adjust for that. Basically, getting off what's considered Highway 83 onto Powers Boulevard. 
trying to get around all this. But I think the right lane's closed up here as well, so that's good to know. So I'm having to deal with a little bit of a, a little bit of road construction up here. I know they're building a firehouse up here or a fire station. So I think they got some, some lanes closed, you know, and you can see up here, you know, the, the sign up here is basically saying right lane is right lane closure. Um, so I wonder if FSD can see that or if, reading, if it's reading that, you know, cause you have road signs over here as well. You can see right there saying that the right lane is closed. Like, I don't know if it's been, it has the ability to really read that and know, um, as it's learning through all this and it's getting more knowledge. But yeah, now we're gonna have cars coming up on the right, so the lane's closed up here. Seeing these cars having to merge in. Me personally, I probably, there was nobody in that right lane, I probably would have gotten. Uh -huh. See, here we go. And we're gonna get, ooh, Jesus. There we go, okay. Doing what it's gotta do. It went ahead and decided it's gonna kid over. And again, according to these road signs, I haven't been over this way in a little bit, so. The lane is closed up here, but it does also want us to get off here in less than half a mile and turn. But now we're getting back over. So there's a little good, good little adjustment there. Now it's trying to get back over. So I'm going to let it do its thing because this lane is closed up here, I believe. And it saw that got back over I mean that's pretty pretty solid I mean I mean it's obviously trying because it knows there's traffic right so it's to a point getting over but then having to get back over because it knows that it can't right it wants to turn up here instead of about a tenth of a mile um, but those cones are obviously in the way and so it's not gonna get over and it's interesting how this right obviously reads construction cones you know, with these little, like, little bumps. Right, it's keeping its blinker on. I can see up ahead the light is green. Traffic ain't really going yet. But I mean, as this software keeps getting more advanced and advanced, right? It's obviously trying to figure these things out. And you can see that there's the opening to get over because it wants to turn here to get down the shields. Um, still, you know, traffic cones and those types of things are blocking that right lane, but allowing us to turn on the street. Comes to a complete stop. I wonder if that's one day going to be a, an adjustment, right? Almost to a rolling, because let's be real, right? I mean, obviously it's trying to follow traffic law, you know, st stop signs, red lights like that to come to a complete stop and then progress forward. But we know naturally that people don't do that. So how is, what's the adjustment that's going to get made? Pothole. Um, as we get further and further along with this, that it can see that there's no cars coming, so do we want to go ahead and push forward? But like I said, my hope here is that we'll get the shills and we will be able to find a parking spot, hopefully, that will auto park itself or self park using FSD, so we're a couple minutes away from where we're headed.
a nice easy drive so far no interventions and which is good especially going through that little construction area <clears throat> would be a natural point for a lot of people and that could be even including myself to make some interventions and take over the take over the car A little cloudy day though. I think there's possibly some snow that's supposed to be coming in. But no, I mean, yeah, got this update last night, like I was saying. Said running at 13.2.7. Um, you know. So, getting so far, so far, so good. But I'm sitting here at a pretty, pretty long light. It's kind of interesting because I could have kept going on the street that I was on and then turned into the parking lot for shields. But a lot of times, yeah, the car, the navigation wants to take it this way, which I'm fine with. But this gives us a little bit more to, to look at with this version of FSD. Because this will literally, I think, drop us right into shields and then hopefully it'll find it a parking spot and not stop in front of this at the front of the store because that's usually what's happening with this I mean I know the self park features I mean a lot of got it to work a couple times right the other day navigated it to a supercharger parked into a supercharger stall um, but a lot of times with some of these locations it just parks you pulls you right in front of the store so because um, I don't think it's a full-on feature yet but it's there but there in a very limited capacity coming up on it. Nice big sporting goods store, a little two-way stop. So the question's gonna be, this should be good. Let's see cars that are coming along. Cause this is not a four-way stop. So cars are coming on the left right now. Coming through this guy. Well, now these guys won't wanna block me. And, but we are good to go. In. Here's what's funny though, it's probably going to take us to the back of the shields. Where the parking lot's up there in the front. It'll stop us there, Let's see what it does. Got a little speed bump. Doesn't slow down for that. It's not a big one. But navigation wise, this is where it has taken us. it's going to try to park right here and that is not what we are going to do so yeah there you go but i mean so obviously still a couple little things to work on um, with this but maybe i'll take us into the parking lot and do a little auto park give people a little view of that but yeah so when it comes to self-parking it right now i mean it took us to the back of the back of the big store here to the back of shields um so i'm gonna go ahead and end the trip Let's take us into the parking lot and let's do some auto parking, which I just did and did in that grocery store parking lot, which wasn't necessarily the, the best, but, but let's find us a spot. We want to park in. We're gonna go that one. So hit start. It should should be there. Ain't no cars around here, but it should be relatively easy. Nobody's behind me right now. Let's pull us into this spot right here. And there you go. All right, well, thanks for coming along for the ride. Um, those are my thoughts on it so far, and we will see you next time.